Is Markham a good place to live? What are the people like? Should you move there? If you're thinking of moving to Markham, Ontario, then I'm gonna weigh out the pros and cons for you, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm gonna break down the top three reasons why you should not move to Markham, but on the flip side, I'm also gonna mention some of the pros. I do think it's important to show both of the positives and the negatives of any city, just so that you can get the full picture of what living here would actually be like. And by considering both the good and the bad, you can better decide whether or not Markham is a good place to live for you. So without further ado, let's get after the first three reasons why you should not move to Markham, followed by the three reasons why maybe you should. What's going on everyone? I'm Rochelle, a local real estate agent here in Toronto and this is a place to learn everything that you need to know about living, working, eating, sleeping, playing, the good and the bad of Toronto and the greater Toronto area. For the last seven years I've been helping people just like you and you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> purchase and sell real estate here and so if you're looking to buy or sell your home as well then give me a shout I would be honored to help you out and make that smooth move to Toronto all of my contact is down below feel free to reach out but today we're focusing on Markham Ontario which happens to be one of Toronto's neighboring cities to the north situated just about 30 kilometers from downtown Toronto and in terms of size is actually the fourth largest city in the GTA just after Toronto, Mississauga and Brampton. However, my favorite fact of all about Markham is that, so get this, it actually got its name, Markham, back in the late 1700s from the late Lieutenant Governor of Upper Canada who named the city after his friend, William Markham. So imagine that, being that tight with someone that you name an entire town after them. Very cool, and so that's your fun fact for the day. However, Markham, like I said, is not all fun and rainbows, as I mentioned. And so the first con that I wanna get into about Markham is that there isn't much variety of food here. Let me show you what I mean. Like most suburbs across Toronto, Markham is home to people from all across the world. But more so than any other culture, there is a very strong East Asian influence here. Specifically, according to the most recent Stats Canada study, nearly half of Markham residents are Chinese. And so I'm actually here at Pacific Mall, which is the largest indoor shopping mall in North America. And it actually opened back in the mid 90s because back then there were a lot of people emigrating to Toronto from China. And so now what you'll notice is that many of these new immigrants and the generations after them have set up local shops and businesses here, tons of which are restaurants. And so it is very common to see a Chinese restaurant or even a whole strip of them when you drive down any given road in Markham. And so that is the first con is that in terms of variety of food, you aren't getting that much here. Asian restaurants and grocery stores for that matter pretty much dominate the food industry here. But this sense of ethnic culture here in Markham is great because as the city does get bigger, it's natural to be attracted to people who are similar to you. You tend to hang out with people who have the same interests as you. And so if you're new to the area, then ethnicity or at least openness to learning and appreciating other cultures is always something that Toronto has thrived on and helps create a community that helps bring people together. All right, so what do you like about living in Markham? Uh, Markham is a uh, very multicultural and all the infrastructure is really good and uh, a lot of very nice uh, Chinese food. The second reason why you may not want to move to Markham is because it's not the most accessible place to live in. Markham is a commuter city where the majority of residents do have a car and most neighborhoods within the city have a walk score that isn't that high, meaning that you would need a car to run your everyday day-to-day -day errands. On top of that, there are only two major highways that run through Markham, the 404 and the 407, which is a toll road. And so commuting outside of the city without your own vehicle can be a common challenge. However, the pro to this is that the public transit system here isn't that bad. <laughs> public transportation in Markham is provided by York Region Transit and the YRT connects all municipalities in York, including Markham, and you can also connect to Toronto, Durham, or Peel regions via the GO. Markham does have five GO transit stations. Also, at the end of the day, the ride sharing 
So Uber, Lyft, those are pretty active for a suburb here. So you have plenty of options in terms of transportation. The last reason why you probably shouldn't move to Markham is because housing is expensive. Now, I know that the greater Toronto area is expensive in general, that's no secret. If you didn't know, Toronto is the third most expensive city in North America to live in. As a matter of fact, the average price of a home here is $1.1 million. But Markham specifically, when you compare it to all the other larger Toronto suburbs, Markham is even more expensive. It's actually third in terms of the most expensive real estate in the GTA, just behind Oakville and Richmond Hill. In Markham, the average price of a condo is $720,000. The average price of a townhouse is $830,000. For a semi-detached, you can expect to pay $1.2 million. And for a full out detached house, you're looking at $1.7 million. So Markham real estate is on the high side, but on the flip side, if you do move here, then the pro is that you get a bunch of beautiful neighborhoods to choose from. So for example, I'm here in the neighborhood of Markham Village, and in this part of town, we have a main street that you can see behind me here that is filled with dozens of restaurants, cafes, shops, the community also hosts a bunch of events here throughout the year. And in terms of housing, you have neighborhoods like Angus Glen, for example. That community, in terms of look and feel, it's a good mix of old and new. And what I mean by that is that the city actually decided to create a new urbanism community in the northern part of Markham, which is Angus Glen, but where the homes are sort of heritage inspired. So the streets are narrow, you have modern styled homes like bungalows, but you also get that classic old downtown look to them with brick and cladding exterior. And one of my favorite features actually about this neighborhood is that a lot of these homes have their garages in the back. And so that means that you don't have cars blocking your views of these homes. The streets and the homes themselves, they just seem a lot cleaner and nicer to look at. Now, if you did want to get a better picture of what a lot of these other neighborhoods look like, then next week I'm actually going to come out with all of the best neighborhoods in Markham for families specifically. So these are the most popular areas for people who are moving with kids, people who want to be close to great schools where it's safe and have a lot of other young families in the neighborhood. If you want to check that out, then make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you get notified as soon as it comes out. And also drop me a comment down below if there's anything else that you want to know about Markham that I can cover in that next video. If you want to know what the people are like, what's there to do around here, or if you live here yourself, then feel free to share some of your experiences living here that might help other people make an informed decision about moving here as well. If you happen to be someone who's already decided that you want to make a move here to Markham or anywhere in the GTA for that matter, then give me a shout too. I would love to help you out. Like I said, all my contact is down below. I would love to help you find the best home for you and your needs. And if you're thinking of selling, I actually offer free staging, photo and videography for your listing. You can check out more details on that below as well. But to everyone, thank you so much for watching. Check out this video that rhymes off the top pros and cons of living in Toronto, because if you like this video, then I think you're going to like that one too and get a lot of value from it as well. I hope you all stay warm. I hope you all stay well. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all living in Toronto.